morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are getting ready to get out of here. And do you guys know what day it is? <clears throat> well, it is Wednesday. That is right. You know what that means? Uh, we're able to park for the truck show. Yeah, we'll go deliver this load. And... Uh, then we'll start making our way down to the truck show. That's right. We'll be parking at the Papa John's truck stop, or not really truck stop, I shouldn't say that, but park place anyways. It's supposed to be called Papa John's parking uh, lot. Oh, look at that. We got like race cars or something on there. Yeah. These trucks are racing in here today, man. It's like, wow, you know. Take her easy, buddy. Take her easy. It's not a race, uh, race track up here, <laughs> you know. But anyways, uh, we'll be trying to find that Papa Jones parking. That's the biggest worry that I got. Trying to find that place. Yeah, but first we gotta do our delivery. In 300 feet, make a new turn if possible. Ooh, that sun is bright again today, so that is good, though. In 300 feet, take the entrance to the right on I-75 South. All right, RJ, we will be doing that. There must be some kind of car dealer or a car manufacturer around here because we've seen a lot of trucks down here with cars. Yeah. So there was know. just one there, and now there's another one here. Yeah, there was two of them that pulled in there, right? No, I saw one. Oh, there was two of them. Oh, there was two of them pulling in at the same time as we were leaving. But yeah, we got us about 19 more miles to go to our uh, delivery, please. We'll be there a little early, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure they'll take us. We'll be there about 9.30. miles. Yep. And then we'll start making our way down towards Louisville. We'll be uh, going down I-64 toward Louisville. And then uh, I was looking it up there last night. There's a pilot flying J there about uh, just before Louisville. It's a 28 there on 64. So we'll go uh, drive up to there and then we'll fuel up the truck and then uh, we'll go take us a shower so that way we got a shower done today and then we're good to go and then we'll have to worry about showers <laughs> i guess tomorrow and the day after i guess you yeah, see there's another one yeah see there you go that's why i was saying there must be some kind of Maybe, I don't know, maybe they just stayed over here for the night, but I'm sort of thinking they must have, they must have some kind of car manufacturer in the area. Yeah. But yeah, anyways, we're, uh, we're at it again today. So it should be a very interesting day. We managed to get internet there last night from that uh, pilot truck stop where we was parked at. And it was fairly good internet up there. I managed to upload two videos. And both of those videos were a bit longer videos, which would be uh, this last week's Sunday and Monday's video. You have already watched those if you did watch anyways. And those were, I think one the Sunday video was like 23 minutes. And I think Monday's video was like 26 minutes. And uh, I think Sunday's video was 2.2 gigabytes upload. It usually is not that much when you watch it, but it, upload speed, uh, upload was uh, was that much. And on Monday's was like 2.6 gigabytes. So just shy of five gigabytes, I was able to upload there overnight. So that's fantastic. So that means at least Monday's video we got uploaded. So that way when we go Sunday, when we leave that place there, we can uh, 
try and stop at another uh, pilot flying jet truck stop somewhere. I did buy internet for a full year on there. So that way, uh, if I'm in the United States and I need the internet, I can use it. And so I figured, well, then on uh, Sunday we can go to a truck stop somewhere if we don't have a load. And I know there's a couple of pilots around the area, so we can go uh, go to those pilots, and then uh, we can upload Tuesday and uh, maybe Wednesday's video. And by that time, we should be back in Canada. I hope so, anyways. Well, it looks like we got to take this exit up here. Take US 62, US 462, yeah. and then keep to the right at 0.3 miles. All right, so we'll go ahead and get out of here. And then we'll, uh, we'll be back in a little bit. Well, here we go, guys and gals. We are here, uh, well, just outside of Paris, Kentucky. And look at these big mansions right here to the right. Man, those must be expensive houses. Holy moly. Man, that must be nice living in a house like that, eh? Yeah. Even here to the left, these are all big mansions that they got up here. Look at the entrance that this guy has got up here to the left. Whoa, that is so cool. Like, it's got his own private fence and gate and everything. Isn't that cool or what? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. We have just finished uh, delivering our load, switched trailers, and uh, picked up an empty trailer. So now we're heading towards Louisville. That's right. We got 74 more miles to go. And it's not going to be all back roads like this. We'll be on the back road here for a little while and then we'll go on to I-64. And then uh, before we get to Louisville, we'll make one pit stop. We'll take a shower. And then at the pilot, we'll fill up the truck. Uh, we'll change a light on the trailer. There's one... Uh, single light there on the passenger side there uh, the single light is working but the, the running light is not working so I'm gonna try and fix that hopefully I can fix that and then we'll make our way down to the uh, Papa Jones truck parking area and we'll see what kind of fun and goodies we'll have over there you know I'm sure it's gonna be a lot of fun don't you think yeah. Yeah. What else you got to say today? Oh, uh, we forgot our uh, morning question. We do stay. Oh, okay. Uh, I couldn't really think of a good one today. So, uh, question is, Coke or Pepsi? Which one you like better? Uh, for me, it's uh, Coke. Uh, I think for my dad, it's also Coke. Uh, let us know which one you. Uh, let us know which uh, your your favorite is and uh, if you know why I don't know why I like coke better um, if you know why then let us know why in the comments and uh, yeah there you go yeah we're almost back up to I-75 but GPS tells me we can take a shortcut over here towards uh, I-64 so I guess we'll, uh, we'll give that a try and see if that's a truck road we can uh, take that shortcut then why not it's only a few miles but uh, whatever this is where uh, i-75 starts pretty much goes north and south so so yeah let's continue on cruising along here and uh, we will show you a lot of goodies there at the truck parking area i'm sure and the truck show and all that so See you all a little bit later. This is it guys and gals. We only got 24 more miles to go. Then we'll be at Papa John's truck stop. That's right. Or not truck stop. I keep saying truck stop but parking lot. Yeah, we just made our uh, pit stop there. We fueled up. And what else did we get? We got us a shower. Yes, because we don't know if we're going to be able to take a shower up there at the truck show. They're saying that you're supposed to be able to, but uh, we'll have to wait and see, I suppose. But uh, yeah, we got some clean clothes on. 
brush their teeth, shave, and oh yeah, we're good to go. We smell good. I don't know about looking good, maybe over there, but that's it. <laughs> yeah, so now the challenge is trying to find our way in there and hopefully we don't get lost. What, trying to get down. in there. <laughs> yeah, we are definitely putting the hammer down in there now, that's for sure. Now we're excited. Yeah, only about 22 more miles to go and then we'll uh, find us a good parking spot, get settled in. We had to set up our barbecue grill yet and all that stuff, so that's going to take us a little while. Get all that stuff set up and then uh, we'll get ready to cook it. <laughs> we'll probably cook us a stew there for lunch and then uh, we'll uh, cook us a good uh, beef rib for dinner, right? That's the plan anyways. We'll see how busy it's going to be in that area and hopefully they have everything marked nicely so we can find it easily. But anyways, we'll go see if we can make our way in there and then uh, go from there. Well ladies and gentlemen, we brought us what? A grill. Right. My son is holding the camera and we're going to get started unpacking this bad boy. Now we'll put this uh, whole grill together. So let's get started. Yeah, you can talk. I know. What do, you, what do you think is going to be fun barbecuing? Oh yeah. Yeah, I think so too. I think not let everybody comes prepared, but we like to be prepared, right? Yeah. That's what I say. We forgot the lawn chairs, but uh, we're just going to sit behind the trailer there on the ledge, and then that's where we're going to set the grill and that's where we're gonna do all our barbecuing yeah so yeah yep hey this will uh we'll be back once we put this rascal together and then we'll show you the finished product all right ladies and gentlemen let's check out our brand spanking new grill we put it together last time we showed you uh it was not put together yet we already put some charcoal in there that's what she looks like yeah very nice i think we're gonna fire this baby up hopefully this stuff will work this is supposed to work yeah we'll uh, get our charcoal going here and then uh we'll have us a barbecue eh yeah what do you think a really good barbecue that's what i think and then we're gonna make lots of people jealous probably yeah probably yeah <laughs> Yeah, I think this is going to be fantastic. Yeah. What do you guys think? You guys going to get jealous or what? I think so. Tell us what you uh, think in the comments. Yeah, that's right. Leave us uh, all the way down there. Yeah, that's right. We're just going to heat this up real nicely here. Because this is a brand new uh, grill. So we're going to uh, get it nice and hot, get all the uh, grease and uh, oils and all that burnt off of there. So that way it uh, it's nice and clean when we start barbecuing, right? Yep. So anyways, we'll be right back. Well guys and gals, let's uh, have a look. We already put this on the grill. Yeah, what do you think there, boy? Think you think gonna that's going to look good? I think we're going to have some good potatoes and some good beef ribs. Yes, let's close this up before we heat it up too much. I don't want to get that too hot, right? Yeah. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to set up a live show, don't you think? Yeah. Good idea? Yeah. I think so, too. And get these viewers a little bit of a taste on what we're looking at, right? Yeah. I think that would be a fantastic idea. Yeah, I'll give you a little spin around. See, it's more and more trucks starting to show up. Yeah, it's starting to get packed in here, eh? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be fun. I bet. So uh, we'll get our uh, setup set up here, and then uh, we'll do a live show. Let's get started. Do you know what time it is? 
Barbecue it's time, time to check on the barbecue, and yes, it is barbecue time. Yeah, look at that. That is starting to look really, really good, don't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got our potatoes on there and our beef reeds. Mm -hmm. That is starting to look fantastic, don't you think? Oh, yeah. I think so, too. Still learning a little bit on this barbecue grill. I think I put a little too much charcoal in there but hey it's a learning curve man it's we got to learn the grill and yeah. see how much charcoal we need and all that good stuff right yeah yeah but uh yeah so we are uh we're not overcooking it right now it's it's still okay but uh we have to keep all the vents and everything closed from getting it too hot right yeah <laughs> yeah we don't want to have it too hot in there because that's just going to burn uh burn our meat and we don't want to do that so uh yeah, we just finished our uh, little live show there. I think it went okay. Yeah, I think it was really good. Yeah, yeah I think so too. I'm sure uh, as people will find out about uh, us doing live shows, we'll probably have more and more people uh, tuning in and stuff like that, maybe tomorrow or the day after. But uh, Yeah, that's what usually happens. Yeah, yeah, usually, you know. I mean, we didn't say what time we were going to do it either, right? But uh, no matter what, we did a little bit of a live show there for you guys and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. So... Uh, We'll get back to our evening. Yeah. Well, what do you think? Well, we finished uh, beef ribs. Uh, look good. Looks good. Yeah. Holy moly. Let's check out my piece here. My goodness, ladies and gentlemen. Let's check it out. He oh, took, he, he took wow. He took the good one for himself. He, yeah, he, of course. He, he, he gave me the fat one. Do yeah, you, you gave him the fat one. Yeah. He needs lots of fat. No, he, uh, sure, <laughs> He's yeah. not as fat as me no, yet, right? No. no <laughs> we still have some left here on the grill. I've yeah. been asking a few drivers around here if they are hungry, and none of them seem to be hungry today. So Yeah, they, apparently they all just ate. So. Apparently they all ate already. Yeah. So I guess nobody wants some beef ribs. So we'll get to eating here before it gets cold. So we'll see you all a little bit later. All right, guys and gals, we are done for today. We had us a good dinner, right? Oh yeah, very good. That's right. I'm very happy with uh, with today's day. It's gone very well. There's more and more trucks starting to show up, but uh, yeah, we met quite a few nice people already, and yeah. he's been handing out tons of business cards already. Yeah. So we'll see how that's going to affect our channel and. Uh, see if we're going to get some new followers and if you are one of them we appreciate you guys coming and uh riding along with me here in the hot seat all the time yeah that's uh very much appreciated if you subscribe to our channel and check this out and all that good stuff and i want to say thanks to the sun over here for uh doing an awesome job and handing out a lot of cards that was uh very nice of him and uh, we had a good uh, good talk here uh, in the back of the trailer there with a whole bunch of drivers and stuff like that had some good laughs and that was a lot of fun and he ran around over there right yeah yeah my, my uh, legs are now tired yeah so. mine are starting to get tired too so anyways figure we'll close off this show here today but first we have to do our shout outs. Yeah, we have to do shout outs, so let's hear it. Uh, give a shout out to Johnson. And uh, you're gonna say the other one, right? Other one was Scott and Lisa. Yeah, Scott and Lisa, give a shout out to you. Scott and Lisa and... Uh, and Rick, I think, texted me as well. Okay, Rick, from give Buffalo. you a shout out as well. And yeah. so, yeah. You guys have a good day or a night, whatever time it is where you're watching, and uh, yeah. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Stick around, we got the actual show starting tomorrow, so have a good one. We'll see you then. <laughs>
get going It's time to move on Put this behind me That day is gonna come I'm breaking the walls down 